Anyone in this room belongs to Homer Glen, Homer Township. If you have any questions, please come and stop in the office so we can sit down with you and explain what's going on and what your new assessed valuation. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, let's go on to our Township Clerk, Kathy Kruiser. I am looking for a motion to approve the July 15th regular board meeting minutes. I will make that motion. We have a motion by Alfred. Do we hear a second? I'll second it. Second by Fian. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the July 15th regular board meeting minutes, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. I also have the FOIA tracker report in your packets. Okay. All right. I will go on to the supervisor's report. For the senior housing facility, all of our rents and leases are current. Uh, there will still be a unit vacated. Uh, there will soon be a unit vacated. However, our waiting lists are extensive. Staff will begin contacting those on the list. Uh, the Town Center Park Sports Field, the Football and Elsers Tower, uh, Weiss, Janey, and Elsner submitted a revised structural engineering scope of work proposal. Uh, this proposal entails reviewing the documentation from the original construction plans and structure alterations, inspections, and maintenance records. Also performing various testing, identifying all sources of water infiltration, evaluating the impact to overall building conditions, and uh, preparing, preparing a report outlining the repair recommendations, developing schematic drawings, and the scope of work as may be required for assessment and remediation. At this time, I would uh, ask the board to approve, or to make a motion, or to submit a motion approving the revised scope of work proposal. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. We have a motion by Fian and a second by Alford. Is there any discussion on the motion? What is the what was the fee on that? Well, the fee is there's two. Is there a phase? There's two fees. Here. Well, there's actually actually the fees are based on what work is required. Gotcha. So the fees that you're seeing is the maximum if all things are required. Gotcha. So that's eleven thousand eight hundred, though. Well, it's eight. I think it's eighty five hundred for the eighty three. I just want to make sure that's what we're that's what we're voting on. Right, and then if needed, uh, the additional what was it three something or whatever thirty five hundred thirty five hundred. Uh, but again, didn't it say optional or this one? The phase one alternates for inspection openings of WJE fees task three is thirty five hundred. But on top it says phase one investigation recommendations from. Right, but you, WJE fees yes. test one, two, four, and five. Right now, if you look at one, two, four, and five, you will see that they propose different things uh, that need to be accomplished. They may not all be accomplished, or if they all are accomplished, that's the amount that uh, is estimated to cost. Okay. Okay. Anything further? All right. Uh, will the clerk call the roll, please? Trustee Fian? Yes. Trustee Ofer? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Trustee Kalis? Yes. Trustee Kruzak? Yes. Oh, yes. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. The uh, Sandra and Culver Park parking lots, uh, we have been uh, pursuing uh, requests for seal coating. 
repairing and restriping those parking lots. We budgeted for them to be done, and as you know, seal coating and maintenance of these lots is the most cost-effective way to keep them from deterioration. This is not a good time to be getting those proposals because everybody's super, super busy. But um, we are we are trying to get uh, some proposals so that we can move forward with them in a future board meeting. Uh, as far as the township hall window replacement, not only has the work begun, it's completed. <laughs> it's, these are new windows? Yeah, these are the new windows. So uh, they finished, I believe, yesterday or today. Uh, or today. So uh, that, that is actually completed. Then uh, the Morris Park storage shed, we're still working on updating the proposals and the permit process, so that's still pending. Um, for administration, the annual audit, the auditor is now working on the final draft uh, and developing that. Uh, for our information technology, our IT uh, specialist assessment of the administration center technology indicates the various outdated equipment that needs to be upgraded this year. Um, I would request a motion uh, approving uh, the proposals as submitted to you. One is for the replacement of a server, one is for the replacement of a staff computer. I'll make a motion to approve both. Okay, so we have a motion to replace one server and one staff computer. Uh, is there a second? I'll second. Uh, is there any discussion on the motion? Yeah, is this going to take care of the uh, email situation? Would that help? I, know, mean, I, I know it's almost impossible to. Yeah, I, I don't anything, believe that the server was the cause okay, of right, the that's fine. email situation. Okay. okay, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, okay, so anything further? Harry, now I'm going to clerk call the roll to approve both uh, expenditures, please. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Trustee Kruzak? Yes. Trustee Kalis? Yes. Trustee Fian? Yes. Trustee Oper? Yes. All oh, yes. Motion carries. Um, did you get a motion? You got to get a motion. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes, I'm sorry, I yeah. moved too fast. Yes. Okay. Okay, and then, uh, to the best of our knowledge, that any of the issues that were involved with some of the emails uh, have been uh, repaired, to the best of our knowledge. Uh, you know, we get hacking, we get spamming, we get, you know, and that's why there were sporadic outages. Um, the only thing I would a actually recommend to everybody is because sometimes um, we don't know that you're not, if you're not getting your emails, you know. So some are and they're responding and we just assume, some, you know, there's no response. So I would just recommend that, you know, if you would just send us even, you know, a brief acknowledgement that you received the email so that we can, uh, be sure that you are receiving them. Or if you've noticed you haven't received emails for three, four days, you know, uh, mm -hmm. just maybe shoot us an email or, or give, give us a quick call. Um, going to the, uh, we're still pending on the uh, videotaping of the uh, township meetings. The IT specialists reported that they are still work, working on the proposals and they anticipate more information to the board at their September meeting. Uh, we also are still pending on the CDBG program. Uh, there is a meeting called, uh, they're, they're scheduling a meeting with Will County and all the representatives from the entities uh, to get the program back on chair. And uh, that concludes my report, unless there's any other questions from the board. Okay, let's move on to the township committee reports. Uh, we'll begin with events chairman, John Cruzak. Oh, reporting on behalf of the events committee. Um, since it's just me right now. <laughs> I would like to make a motion to accept my nominations for appointment, which is Cynthia Rate, 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 <laughs> Mary Beth DeGrassi, and Kathy Cruzak. I will make that motion. I will make the motion. I'll second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the appointments to the events committee signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion cures. Okay, we're going on to uh, kind of in a, a little bit of a time sensitive situation since, believe it or not, Halloween will probably be here before you know it. Uh, we always had a, a joint. Uh,
tasked with the library to do a Halloween party, and uh, we're planning on uh, still doing that also this year. And I'm looking for I'm looking for a motion to authorize expenditures not to exceed seven hundred fifty dollars. I'll second. I'll second it. We have a motion by Myers and a second by Bean. Any discussion on the motion? <coughs> Hearing none, we'll go call the roll, please. Trustee Kurzak? Yes. Trustee Kalis? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Trustee Bean? Yes. Trustee Over? Yes. Motion? Um, yes. Motion carries. July 22nd, 2019, Party in the Park, Story Walk, Trail Challenge, and Movie in the Park combined was a successful, fun event. And I'd just like to say thank you to the Lincoln Way SRA, the Homer Township Library, volunteers, staff, participants, and officials who con contributed. So. Thank you. With that, my uh, report is final. Thank you, John. Uh, moving on to the open space planning and operation, Chairman Tom Fian. Um, the only thing we got is our junk in your trunk event was canceled due to insufficient interest. Um, I don't know whether it was. I mean, a lot of kids, school is getting started. I see that uh, they were running monthly flea markets out at the uh, county building or the county hall, uh, the, the, fairgrounds. The, the fairgrounds. So I think that all worked against us, but we only had one person that was interested, so we canceled the event. Right, thank you. Uh, let's go to Parks and Recreation, Chairman Ed Kalis. Well, I have the report outside of, if you look on the township's website, we are looking for people to fill spots for the Parks and Rec Committee. Everything will go directly through me. Uh, so if anybody knows anybody that might be willing to volunteer sometime, go to the township's website and we'll look into it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Um, the Senior Citizen and Special Needs Advocacy, Chairman George Ulfer. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to nominate <coughs> Nicole Laha Zwerkan uh, as a new member of the committee. I'll second. Oh, are you making a motion? Yeah, well, we can make a motion. You made yes, a motion. I'll second the motion. Okay, so we have a motion and a second uh, by Kusek, motion by Alford to approve uh, Nicole Laha. What was the last name? Zwerkan. Zwerkan. Uh, to Spell like it sounds. Okay to uh, be a new appointment for the senior and special needs advocacy. Any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, uh, all those in favor of uh, approving the appointment, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Okay. Oh, uh, no September meeting because of the holiday and the next meeting is October 1st. Thank you, George. Um, Karen, do you have anything? Uh, the only thing I have today, I did get, I received a phone call from Sue Styler uh, about uh, Veterans Day at Kuno's Farm again this year. Oh, the ceremony? Yes, the ceremony. So uh, she asked me if I'm going to contact the commanders of the VFW and American Legion. Okay. So. And is it on, on actual? Yes. Okay. I know that's always tough because we're down in Springfield, and I, I am anyways that participate in the stuff down there. But um, okay, very good. So uh, Veterans Day uh, replication, basically, or it turned out very uh, nice. Observation, last year. yes. I heard it was very nice. I saw pictures. Very good. Anything else? <coughs> that's it. Nope, okay. that's it. All right, then let's move on to new business. Uh, you have, the board has been provided correspondence from State uh, Representatives Durkin and McDermott regarding uh, the passage of the State of Illinois uh, Capital Bill, which results in increasing of motor fuel taxes and some other sort of taxes to uh, complete um, infrastructure investment. Um, and unless anybody has, I mean, it's just a correspondence. Yes, Mike. I have new business. I thought you were asking for another item. Oh, I, I wasn't, but if, if there's well, something well, it doesn't like require a vote. No, when you're, no, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm done. Right. I just For our employees and, and for us, some of us are the board members here. There was an article in Saturday's, Sunday's Tribune regarding IMRF. How many read it, huh? No. They're going to lump it all in because of all of the municipal failures in funding for uh, pensions, 
you want to lump them up. This is the Tribune. I mean, it's not some website. They want to lump all of the uh, consolidate all of the municipal uh, pension funds, With including the funds. including IMRF. Wow. Um, it's in, in yesterday's Tribune. I'm sure you can still find it online. <clears throat> I think the only thing that's will save that from happening, from what the article I read, the unions are pretty much against it, and they're pretty powerful in this state. Yeah. But that's the goal of this current administration, and what they would allow to happen, <laughs> once this goes through, this is what the article said, they would allow uh, municipal taxing bodies to raise taxes above the tax cap to fulfill their obligations. So even though the one, those of us that are solid and have kept up well, with Well, we're 90%. The IMRF that we participate in is 90%. Right. Many are 25 and 40 and 50%. And then the, So they're merging uh, all of those together. That, that's what the article is saying. They wanted to merge them together and put them in a pool. You know, it's that old, you guys have a lot. You need to pay your fair share to the rest of us. I have to pay the payments. Well, it's, again, anybody who, who would like to read further, yeah, thank you. It was the front page article in, wow. in Sunday's Tribune. Oh, look. Thank you. I'm surprised. Great stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, it's just. I, know, I, I don't know how that will affect all of our employees, but all of our employees are on IMRF. Right. And we're, we're always under the assumption that it's a good, solid retirement plan for all the employees of the township. And I think the village employees are on our work. Most of the municipalities are. And, you know, that's sort of where people, I think, don't understand, like, the differences between the pensions mm -hmm. for the state. And there's also different pensions for, you know, certain organizations. Um, but generally, the local municipalities uh, have been involved with IMRF, which, while you know, no pension is 100% uh, funded, they've been very, very stable throughout all of this. Uh, problems with the state of Illinois. So if I understand what you're saying, I think the sad part about it is is that, uh, well, for example, in the township, I, I can't speak for other places, but in Homer Township, our revenues come from property taxes. And so the property taxes that our residents have been paying for our employees, or, or whatever the con contribution towards our employees, uh, pension and then of course the employees contribute a percentage. To well, this may raise our contribution. Right, that's what I'm saying. To both of them. So we've been we've been stable. We've been in good shape. We're a very very well funded uh, pension. So the others who borrowed against their pension funds or didn't fund money it. or didn't fund it or whatever. If I understand what you're right, saying, yeah. they're proposing that they lump all of them in with us. And now we, because we, we get penalized for being good stewards of the fund, and now we have to, our taxpayers and res employees would have to make up for their deficient spending? Go, again, wow. the article stated they would allow, that the bill would also allow uh, taxpaying bodies to raise taxes above the cap, where the tax cap state of 5%, uh, which is usually CPI or 5%, whichever is lower, and where the tax cap, they allow ta municipalities or taxing bodies to raise the taxes beyond that to pay off these pension debts. That's what it said. I'll the look, but the, the article was you read it too? in discussion and, and basically uh, the thrust of that movement was because there are over 600 different pension boards in, in the state of Illinois, that consolidation from an administrative standpoint would reduce significantly the cost of operation. But as the article also pointed out, because of the many problems that would be involved in dealing with different pension funds, <coughs> different degrees of funding, yes. different rules for disability, uh, it's unlikely that any sound uh, bill will pass. But again, given the type well, of government that we're in, we, we, we now have ten new casinos headed that way. 
gathered. So there's going to be a lot of new legislation. Tell so, so I do, you know, I do say we try. I mean, it's. I'll tell you what. I'm not saying that the residents stuff. It's difficult for me to know all the. Like I don't get like a notice on my desk that says, "Oh, we just passed a new law that affects you." We have to actually try and find out whatever is being passed. You know, what effect it has on us. If, we have to do something differently or different or new, but generally there are lo there are um, state you know websites and different websites that sh you know give them a listing of whatever legislation is passed. Uh, there is a lot of legislation that passed um, and has been sitting on the governor's desk um, for you know. There's, you'll see. So those things usually come out in the new stuff. But you're saying this, though, is not even made it to legislation yet, right? Mike? No, it's okay. a discussion. Okay. So I'll well, keep your But that's been talked and... about, that's been bandied about, consolidation of the pension funds has been bandied about for at least 10 years that I know. Yes, I agree. I agree. But we do know that. It was a new, so, it was a new era. So yeah, check. They need a bailout. So, well, thank you, Mike. Um, let's go on to old business. The uh, we've received our July uh, Clark mosquito abatement uh, monthly update, and uh, I don't know if anybody's noticed it's been noticeable or not. I know for me it has been. You know, with the bad flooding and rains that we received in the spring, they were really anticipating July was going to be a horrible month, and they were pleasantly surprised that it really wasn't as bad as they thought based on their traps and all the things that they uh, did. So that was a that was a good thing, you know, that uh, we didn't have to increase the chemicals <coughs> and the applications and things like that. Um, and again, just a reminder to those that are wish, uh, wishing to participate in the annual conference, we need to get those registrations and stuff uh, mm -hmm. in. I did include uh, copies again, just in case, so if you can get them into the office as soon as possible. Uh, if there's no other old business, or uh, I don't believe there's a need for executive session, mm -hmm. I'm not aware of anything. Um, I think we could. Uh, we have a motion meeting. to adjourn. So we have a motion by Kuzak and second. a second by Candace. Uh, uh, any discussion on the motion? Usually not. So all those in favor, <laughs> signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. And we are adjourned at 735, which is wow. wow. Yeah. I'm going to give you a chance to get some dinner.